What's up guys? We are here in the dyno room to open up the new Yoshimura RS9T, show you what's in the box. Uh, we're going to get this installed and do a little back to back and see what kind of power we're picking up. Um, right off the bat, we got our loop pipe piece and it does have an O2 bone. Thank you Yoshimura for doing that. Uh, makes it a lot easier on my part not having to blow the bung in. And our mid pipe here. measurement on the head as well. Yoshimura usually does a 25 mil ID on these. They match that exhaust gasket, which is nice. Looks like they sent us some springs, which means there's probably a spring puller in here as well. That's some Yoshimura stickers, spring puller, no two bone plug. Now we do have a notification here. Uh, make, through, make sure you go through a good heat cycle of 15 minutes or more. So once we get her installed, we'll go ahead and just let the bike idle, come up to operating temp, which we're going to have to do for the dyno anyway. Get rocks and Schultz on there. And last but not least, we got our canister itself. with the carbon shield already installed. And the biggest question I have is, are we gonna drag this thing on the right handers? So, um, I'm a track guy. I like taking these things to the cart track, so I'm hoping this clear, clears uh, the low right handers. Unlike the last pipe, uh, we did end up having to run a high mount on our track pipe for that reason. So we're gonna get the pipe installed, get some dyno numbers that we have before and after uh, the stock pipe versus the new Yoshimura and then we'll dive into the intake side. Alrighty guys, we have the pipe installed, got our O2 bung on there so we can now monitor AFR. First startup, nothing obnoxious. It's uh, nice and quiet really. It's got a good growl, nice little purr. So we're gonna give this a quick 15 minute heat cycle. Let that works edition coating sink in and then we're going to get the tire up to temp, make sure everything's the same as it was yesterday and start getting our baseline pulls. Alright guys, so we got our heat cycles buttoned up. I'm going to give you a couple, a couple rev bombs. Alright guys, so taking the last of each one of these runs. So we kind of have to avoid these little spikes. Sometimes you'll see, like on this blue line here, you get a little tenth spike. Um, realistically, you're probably looking at a nine flat on this blue line. So with this as a breakdown, bone stock, we have a red at 8.74. Kind of seeing that 8.6 once you start dragging it across quite a bit. Our blue line, 9.15, which is on that little peak there. But as soon as you go 100 RPM before or after, you're right at that nine horse. Look at adding the RS9T. We bumped up to this green line and picked up some low, uh, lost some low end actually, everything under 3,000. Uh, from 4,000 up, uh, picking up through the mid range. Let's click on the screen so it's a little easier to see. There we go. 
and definitely a good top end gain. Um, looks like we're going from like an 8.6 to a 9.5, so almost a horse. And I think that's about almost 10% or maybe right at 10%. I'll have to look at the uh, percent of change calculator there. And went ahead and pulled the lid off just for quick pass. Surprisingly, uh, air fuel on this is all pretty decent. Um, we have the orange line with no lid and the exhaust. I mean, dead on that 12.8 to 13.1 mark. Um, and you can see with the lid on, it does run a little richer in the mid-range. Um, and surprisingly, a little leaner in a couple of the top port areas. So I'd say if you're running intake exhaust, you're probably fine without a tune on this. But once we dive into the ignition tables, and some of the closed loop system, we will be able to see what kind of restrictions are on the table with this bike. Um, the 2020 Grom, for example, it runs a closed loop system of zero to 90%. So everything in that 90% range is targeting a 14.7 air fuel. I did a couple passes with this bike as well, and I can tell it definitely has a very similar closed loop system. Um, wide open throttle and then just barely cracking off. You could watch AFR just sit there at the 14, 7, 15 mark. So we will find some power just within your tip-in as well as your roll-on, um, getting that tuned properly. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we're going to try and keep pumping these out. If there's anything you guys would like to see, let us know, and yeah, we'll be back at it before too long.